Welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how to compile SleuthKit from source. Uh, I'm in Linux right now, but the process on uh, Mac OS X is the same. Uh, for Windows, I've never actually compiled it on Windows, so I'm not sure, but I assume it's, it's similar. Um, so on Linux, um, yeah, first we need to get the source code. Um, I've already downloaded the source code uh, using git um, so from GitHub, they have all the source code uh, up there, and you can get the, the latest version, basically, and compile it yourself. Uh, if you go to github.com slash sleuthkit slash sleuthkit, then you can just clone or download and clone uh, clone the, the code, basically. Uh, I'm in the opt directory, so I would do sudo git clone and then uh, the uh, git address, essentially. Okay, but I've already done that to save a little bit of time. So if we do ls, then I have the sleuth kit, so I can do cd sleuth kit. Uh, make sure you change the permissions of the sleuth kit so your user actually owns it. If well, think about what permissions you want. If you don't, then you have to use sudo for all of these commands, and you don't necessarily want to build something uh, using administrative privileges unless you absolutely have to. Whenever we install, then we want administrative privileges, but building we don't. Okay, so I am inside the sleuth kit right now. I have all of the source uh, source code downloaded using uh, Git and GitHub. Uh, so now I need to run uh, dot slash bootstrap, right? So bootstrap will basically go through and um, yeah, start to create the make file. Then I can do dot slash configure like normal. And then it's going through and checking all of my dependencies. And I've already installed uh, here I have AFF lib support, no, okay, that's a problem. Uh, we have lib EWF support that I've already installed from the package manager in Ubuntu. Uh, Zlib support, I think that was installed by default. Uh, Java J and I support, no, and multi-threading, yes. So I'm gonna go back and look for AFF lib before we do this. Uh, so I can do sudo apt, apt cache search AFF lib, and let's see what we find. So I see this lib aff lib dash dev, and that's probably what I want. So I want to do sudo apt install lib aff lib dash dev, and let's see if we can get this. Okay, so now it's installed. Now I want to run configure again, so dash slash configure. Oh, sorry, dot slash configure. Then it does all the checks again. Okay, now we have support. So basically if you were missing any of these features, and I'm not going to install this Java J and I support right now, but if you're missing any of these features, then you can, if you're in Ubuntu at least, you can do sudo apt cache search, for example, for lib EWF, if we were missing that, and then it will go through and tell you. And most likely, whenever we're compiling, we want these dev files. Okay, so lib EWF dev, for example. Um, if you don't find the requirements in your package manager, then you will have to go out and manually compile these as well. And maybe you want to do that anyway, because uh, in Ubuntu and, and Debian, I don't think AFFlib and libewf are the newest versions. So if you need the newest versions of these libraries, you need to manually compile them anyway. Uh, here, I'm not really worried about the newest versions of these, um, because I don't use their features too much, um, sometimes for experimentation and things like that, but the versions that I have in the package manager are fine. I do want the newest version of SleuthKit, however. So let's go back. Now we have all of our requirements. We've already ran dot slash configure, right? And we found out that our libraries, all of our libraries that are requirements are okay. Um, now I want to run uh, make, and then I have eight processors okay so I have eight, eight yeah basically I, I have eight cores so I'm gonna run make dash j8 and that will make sure that I'm using all of my processors to to compile uh, sleuthkit because sleuthkit does take a long time so I'm gonna start this and uh, basically speed it up so you don't have to look through the entire compilation process I'm just running make dash j8. Okay, so now that's done compiling, 
uh, we want to actually install it. So if I type, for example, right now, mmls, which is a, uh, a sleuthkit command, uh, it says, okay, it's not installed. You can install it from your package manager. Okay, but I want to install the newest version. So we can, now we need root or we need administrative privileges to install the program. So we can do sudo uh, make install. Okay, so sudo make install, now it's installing. Then if I run mmls dash capital V, then I can see the sleuth kit version 431. Okay, so now we have the sleuth kit installed. That's it. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe for more.